Hello, this is Haku Dabin, and today we are going to be reading SCP-711, also known as Paradoxal Insurance Company. If you like, I mean, Paradoxal Insurance Policy. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I think it's going to be a short read. I'm number 711. <laughs> like the story. Level 5, Top Secret. Containment Class, Safe. Disruption Class, Blom. Risk Class, Notice. Special containment procedures. Under no circumstances whatsoever is SCP-711 to be operated. Reconstruction, operation, or attempted operation of SCP-711 is to be punished in all cases by the, the severest and most extreme measures available to the SCP Foundation. Enforcement of this zero policy, zero tolerance policy, should it become necessary, is to become a top priority assignment for all available Foundation personnel. This has been crossed out, but the current instance of SCP-711 is being embedded in concrete and sword in a type 2 high-value item vault alt as storage site redacted, secured by at least four multiple redundant lint locking systems guarded by armed Foundation agents of at least two level 2 security clearance. The item should never be stored in operable condition in any major crisis during which the survival of the SCP Foundation or of any significant less than 20% no, I mean, greater than 20% portion of human civilization is called into question. The item supervisors are to destroy immediately they term in a safe time and place for its recent emblem. Three, the most recent instance of SCP-711 was destroyed on an unknown date. No person of of uh, capable of operating SV-711 is afraid to have any knowledge of the contents of String-17. See below. Description Built by the SCP Foundation from plan to retrieve the data redacted, SCP-711 is a device assembled from several highly modified data redacted high-energy physics equipment. Its primary function expunged. In short, it is uh, Capable of sending data into its past and of receiving data from its future. Transmission is strictly one way. Independent operation of the item is therefore utterly impossible. And any message we receive will necessarily be sent at some point in its future. All SCP-711 messages is pre predetermined their own existence and content. To date, exactly 17 messages have been received by uh, 711. The first string was received at 1 p.m. on the day of the item's creation, which is an unknown date, and sent four minutes later. Consists only of the character's test. With successive operations, signal quality has declined dramatically. String 1 was transmitted perfectly, being precisely test both when sent and when received. String 16 when sent, also read precisely test. When received, it consists of the characters T, dollar sign 3, S, to the power of F, at, followed by 5 kilobytes of meaningless noise. Additionally, over the course of testing, 4 strings were received which were never sent, which cons consists demonstrably of nothing but noise. String 17 was detected that redacted 10 years after the object's construction. It consists of 347 characters, either heavily encrypted or data redacted. Within the first 50 characters, however, it is sufficient in data to establish unknown. That will be sent by a duly authorized agent of the SCP Foundation. This is duly authorized agent. 1780. Have we read about 1780 before? I guess we'll have to read about that one day. 
Its state of origin is unknown. To date, it has not yet been sent. Since string 17, no, it will necessarily be you sent, and since it blank, be sent by an agent of the Foundation, the survival of the SCP Foundation and humanity in general is guaranteed at least until such time as string 17 is transmitted. Transmission of string 17 must therefore be postponed at all costs. The above criteria procedures I calculate to ensure that it will not be sent until such a time as the Foundation is too weak to enforce them. In which case, the Foundation will, al will have already e e de facto ceased to exist. <sighs> Note, SCP-711 is an insurance policy of sorts. Until we send string 17, we know we have to survive any crisis. Otherwise, a string is a BL class predestination paradox. Once it's sent, we no longer have that guarantee. Yes, we'll have to fail it. At some point, we did receive string 17 after all, but the longer we postpone it, the longer we know we can survive. Stop that signal, people. Our continued existence may just depend on it. That's not quite how that works, but okay. Thing is, paradoxical time travel is always confusing. Because there's like, and it's usually just simply revoked by the idea of multiple timelines. So your paradox doesn't quite work the way you think it will. Anyway, if you liked that video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!